Hi viewers, in this video we will understand the detailed comparison of SNAT and DNAT that is source NAT and destination NAT, the terminologies related to firewall. While in case of SNAT, the destination IP address is preserved and the source IP address is changed. On the other hand, in case of DNAT, destination address is changed and the source IP address is not manipulated. But before moving forward, let's share basic knowledge of NAT, SNAT and DNAT. NAT is an abbreviation for Network Address Translation. NAT occurs when one of the IP address in an IP packet header is changed, that is either the source IP address or the destination IP address. SNET is an abbreviation for source network address translation. It is typically used when an internal or private host needs to initiate a connection to an external or public host or a server. The device performing NAT changes the private IP address of the source host to public IP address. It may also change the source port in the TCP UDP header. A typical scenario where we generally use SNAT is when we are required to change the private IP address that is RFC 1918 or port into a public IP address or port when the packets are leaving the network. In terms of order of operation on NAT device, SNAT feature comes to fore after the routing decision has been made. Moreover, when there are multiple hosts in the inside network who want to get to any host on the outside network, SNAT is used. DNAT DNAT stands for Destination Address Translation. Destination NAT changes the destination address in the IP header of a packet. It may also change the destination port in the TCP UDP headers. The typical usage of this is to redirect incoming packets with a destination of a public address or port to a private IP address or port inside your network. Destination NAT is performed on incoming traffic where the firewall translates a public destination address to a private address. DNAT is a one-to-one -one static translation with the option to perform port forwarding or port translation. Users over internet accessing a web server hosted in a data center is a typical example where DNAT is used to hide the private address of web server and NAT device translates the public destination IP reachable to internet users to private IP address of web server. Now that we have understood the terminologies of SNAT and DNAT, let's compare them and understand their differences. Abbreviation for SNAT is source network address translation, while abbreviation DNAT is for destination NAT. Next, in terms of terminology, source NAT that is SNAT changes the private IP address of the source host or maybe change the source port in the TCP UDP header. SNAT is basically used for users who are sitting inside the network and want to access internet or browse internet. Talking about DNAT, it changes the destination address in the IP header of a packet and it can also change the destination port in the TCP UDP header. While DNAT is used for redirecting the incoming packet with the destination of public address or port to a private IP address or port of the inside network and generally it is a server. Use case. In case of the usage, when a client who is sitting inside the LAN of a data center and wants to access the internet that is browse it, in that case the 
SNAT is leveraged for that communication to happen. While the use case for DNAT is when a website is hosted inside a data center behind a firewall and it needs to be accessed by users who are sitting over the internet, then we will use the DNAT that is destination NAT. Address change. Source NAT changes the source address of packet passing through the NAT device while dnat will change the destination address of packet which passes through either the router or the firewall in terms of nat order of operation snat is performed after the routing decision has been made that is routing flow and routing definition is defined after that only snat will come into picture while in case of dnat it is performed before the routing decision is taken for any device. Next is the communication flow. When the inside secured network wants to access the outside world, that is internal users who want to access any server or any browse any internet facing application, they will use the SNAT. While in case of DNAT, when an outside unsecured network or host wants to access the internal network or server which is inside the data center in that case dnat will happen and the last one is single or multiple hosts while in case of snat it allows multiple hosts which are inside the network that is land users who want to access any host like any application or any web facing application over the internet then in that case the SNAT will be leveraged. While in case of DNAT, it allows any host on the outside, that is the user on the outside to get to a single host or a server, which is in the inside network. In that case, DNAT will be leveraged for one-to-one -one NATing. To download the comparison table, kindly refer the link shared in the description. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.